everybody. This is Alex Foss, your professor at TVE Course, and I'm excited to bring you this reinforcement class in electrical current flow. We've already talked about the electrical current flow in the normal class, but this is a class to reinforce your understanding of what electrical current flow is. Now, basically, electrical current flow is the flow of electrons through a conductor from one point to another. The flow is caused by an electromotive force or voltage that will cause the electrons to be attracted to one point, and as, they are, as they're attracted to a certain point, they tend to move toward that direction, and uh, so that causes a flow. And we have several different kinds of flow, DC, where they're all flowing in the same direction all the time, and AC, where they're moving back and forth. Uh, we also need to keep in mind the electrical field and how that works into this situation. What I have here is a wonderful uh, public domain film from the U.S. Air Force that talks about electrical current flow. And you know that a lot of people say, well, these public domain films are so old. But let me tell you, you know, the theory really hasn't changed. And they went to a lot of effort to try and give you a simple understanding of how this stuff works. And so... Just sit back and enjoy the film and learn a little bit more about electrical current flow. I'm excited for you, and I appreciate you watching the course. Thank you. Now, remember, when I speak of current flowing from negative to positive, I'm referring to the current that flows outside the power source or the current in the external circuit. Inside the power source, the battery in this case, current flows from positive to negative. Now, this is a very important point, so be sure that you understand it, because later on you'll be using the current in this power source to calculate numerous things. So remember this. Current flows in a continuous path from negative to positive in the external circuit and from positive to negative in the power source. Now, you should also remember that the requirements for current are a source of voltage, and a continuous path through which current can flow. Here are some terms associated with current that you should become familiar with. For example, the symbol for current is the capital letter I, a coulomb. That's a measure of the amount of current. Now, one coulomb is this many electrons. Now, of course, trying to count this many electrons would be like trying to count the grains of sand on a beach. It just isn't practical. So we'll rely on meters later on to measure current in ampere. Now, an ampere is one coulomb flowing past a point for one second. And it's called ampere in honor of the French physicist who discovered this means of, means of measuring current. Now, remember also that current is the movement of electrons. It will cause a bulb to give off light. It will cause a radio to produce sound. It's the force that does the work in radar, computers, and communication. We've seen that when a conductor is placed across a voltage, the voltage will cause too much current to flow and burn up the wire. On the other hand, if an insulator is used, very high and dangerous voltage is required to cause any current. In the next lesson, we'll talk about a happy medium. The diode will do essentially the same thing to current. Remember, we said that current flows from negative to positive. That's in this direction. Now, I'm going to put the diode in the circuit so that the arrow is in this direction. It shouldn't affect current. Let me make the connection. The bulb light, so there must be current through it. Now, I'll turn the diode around so that the arrow is against this flow. Remember, if current flows from negative to positive, the arrow is against that, so it should block it. Let's see. Making the connection the bulb doesn't light. So just as the control valve blocked the flow of water, this diode is blocking current. Now I'll turn it back around again. Current flows and the bulb lights. So it should be obvious then from this little demonstration that current flows from negative to positive.